In this video, we're going to have a quick guide to the Japanese Nikkei 225 index. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So, quick five minute guide to the Japanese index, which is called the Nikkei 225. Let's go. Okay, it's the top 225 biggest listed companies in Japan on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Now, one thing to note is if you're looking for this in your spread betting platform, or your CFD platform, it's probably probably going to be under Japan 225 or something similar. It's not going to be under Nikkei because that's copyrighted, it's trademarked. An actual fact, the price they quote is very similar but not quite the same. So just bear that in mind if you're looking for it on your own platform. So it's 225 companies weighted by price. Unusually so because a lot of the European indices have weighting by market cap. In other words, doesn't matter what the price is it's the market cap which is the number of shares an issue times the price giving you market cap but this is different so the higher the price the more weighting it's got in the index in other words if that thing moves 10 percent it's gonna have a big move on the underlying index started trading in 1950 so a long long time ago one of the earliest ones out of the bunch all-time high of 38 nearly 39,000 in december 1989 10 20 years later crash right down to 7,054. We'll look at a chart in a second and see how crazily volatile this thing can be. Obviously sensitive to Bank of Japan and the global economy. Now, look at the volatility of this. This is this is the kind of thing that you're playing when you're playing this in this uh in this market. You know, minus 21%, minus 9, 30 plus 36, minus 27 one. You can see the swings, you know, the single digits is rare. Like the the it's just a, a crazy, crazy index. Potentially, it's got the potential for serious volatility. Now, interestingly about the Nikkei is that they, and this is Japanese time, by the way, uh, they open at 9 o'clock until 11.30. They have a little lunch break and then they trade again from 12.30 till 3. I quite like the idea of that because it compresses the amount of time. And actually, that might, in my opinion, that contributes to the volatility. Because if you've got a small window of opportunity until a bell goes, then another small window of opportunity everyone's rushing to get their orders done um and even if you you know if we think that the european indices generally eight o'clock till 4 30 this is far less time far less time to trade nine ten eleven two and a half hours on one end of the scale and the same on the other end of the scale it's it's a difficult difficult um difficult task for people to execute a lot of size quickly uh, okay, so we have loads of companies in there, of course. Some of the biggest ones that you may recognize, Sony, Toyota, Hitachi, Canon, Honda, Yamaha, those kind of things. There's 225 is just some that you'll recognize. Now, spreads on these are going to be around five points or so, um, purely because... You know, it's a more volatile index. There's not, it's not as popular as, as your kind of FTSE, your DAX, your Dow, but it's up there. It's reasonably popular. And some of the kind of research I've been doing here of some of the um, constituents of it. But let's look at the chart. So intraday range, pretty hefty, guys. You know, it's not unusual to see 250 points plus on this thing. Um, and if you go back and look at the monthly chart, you see how much of a swing out this was. And we talked about, you know, that high and then it's just crashing down. Uh, and look at the monthly range on this. If you're involved in this time period here, this is a bit before I was getting involved, 1990. But look at the range on that. And anyway, that's that's the range of the month. So almost 7,800 point range on the month. Anyway, coming to some of the last 10 years or so, pretty volatile index, lots of stuff going on obviously for trading european session time it's an overnight index so it's one of those things actually if you're trading part time and you have the and you can trade in the middle of the night this might be something that you could look at bearing in mind the spreads are you know they're about let's say five points plus um the margins are pretty low still because it's it's, it's still an index it's not like you're trading individual shares so you're talking one percent half percent two percent depending on your broker um, and little nuances are obviously that closing. Remember, you got that closing time there, uh, the little lunch break they have. So if you're trading part-time, it's not a bad index to get involved in and get 
um, and sort of watch the open, watch the close. And obviously, because you've got that split, you've got two opens and two closes, so you can get a bit of a feel and, and perhaps trade just at those opens or just at those closes and, and see if there's opportunity there. Standard kind of stuff with, with, with these things, guys, is that you know, you're know you trading pullbacks, you're trading kind of bursts of momentum, momentum expansion, volatility expansion, quiet markets, fading highs and lows, using the right tool for the right job when the time is right. So this is the Nikkei 225 Japanese Index. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Do you trade it? Be interested to know if you trade it, if you find it something that is lucrative for you to trade. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye bye.